there could be one or two assess videos depends how we go I want to do just one from question two a grade E rated question so page 94 we're looking at question 2E and it says this I've got 3 plus 2D equals 1 I know why you find it disturbing you want to see 2D plus 3 equals 1 well it doesn't matter still take the 3 next one subtract so D 2D equals 1 take away 3 so 2D is going to be minus 2 so single D is going to be minus 2 divide by 2 a single D is going to be minus 1 I did it a bit quick study yourself um, question 3 let's do the last one because it involves brackets and letters on both sides again all this is real old knowledge going back to unit 2 certainly and that's 5V all these are V's not used by the way minus 8 effectively solve it find the value of V break it all open so I've got 8V plus 4 equals uh, 15V um, 3 4's are 24 but it's negative uh, bring the V's to me so I've got 8V minus 15V please note this side's got to be a gentleman it's got to leave space for the minus 15 to come over and uh, sit alongside it that equals minus 24 please note even though I took the 15 over and subtracted the minus belongs to the 24 if you read this with me it says 15V minus 24 therefore the minus belongs to the 24 and subtract the 4 over to the other side and that gives minus 4 so what have we got um, 8 to take away 15 puts us into minus 7 V's and minus 24 now go down another 4 is minus 28 a uh, very very easy answer minus 28 divided by minus 7 well 28 over 7 is 4 the answer is positive 4 because you know minus divided by minus is plus that's that um, I think I'll do one or two from question 5 and then flick is it back or forward and I've done that one and then flick forward to do um, question 4 because that's already on the screen so I'll do some of question 5 now um, question 5a looks very similar to question th um, 3f what I've just done now so I think I'll pick one of these fractional things I'll do this one I presume it's the hardest one so I'm going to do it this is 5e so 4d minus 4 all over 3 is 1 you know take the 3 over and multiply so 5 lots of d minus 4 equals 1 times 3 so 5 d's is 5 minus 4 equals 3 the minus 4 take it over and plus it you know come on revise uh, 3 plus 4 is 7 d equals 7 over 5 don't leave it like that it's horrible d equals well 5 goes into 7 one whole time and 2 left over 5 and 2 fifths if you don't like fractions, decimals, 1.4. As for me, I prefer the fractions. Anyway, I've got a calculator to help me in case I get stuck. Now, let's just go forward and pick up question um, 4. It says the diagram shows, let me just label it as such, question 4, page 94. The diagram shows two parallel lines. Write down and solve an equation involving x's. Well, look, if these are parallel lines, then that angle is alternate to that angle. And I'll write this right here so these are alternate angles if they're alternate angles they're also equal so now I'm going to do the math so that means this angle equals that angle I'm going to do an equation well look at this let's do it naturally so that equals that now if you really don't like working with bringing the six x's over and making it negative write it around the other way <coughs> What's wrong with that? Absolutely the same. I mean, they're equal. Let's make these look pretty. <coughs> make it look pretty. Right. If that equals that, that equals that. So write it around the way that suits you. So this suits me. Well, both ways suit me. Right. 3x, bring it over and minus it. The minus 130, take it next door and add it. What have we got? I've got 6x's who are always there. Take away my 3x's that just joined him. Equals 20. He was there first plus 130 what do we got all together I've got three X's make 150 so a single X is going to be 150 over three X is 50 uh, I don't really want to call it 50 degrees because it's not the whole angle so X is 50 that's all it asks me to do that's what I'm going to do um, turning over I've got another beautiful question waiting for us come on then well there it is it's a lovely question question six 
bit involved, but it would be. It's in the SS, grade C, top grade C, I'd say. Um, the diagram shows a rectangular garden there. It's all nice and green. There is a rectangular vegetable patch, you know, potatoes, carrots, etc. Uh, the rest of the garden is lawn, so the whole thing is the garden, all this. That's the grass, the lawn, and that's the veg patch, and it's brown because of the earth, I presume. The area of the lawn is 9.5 meters squares, so I'm writing it right here in a color that you might be able to see. Go over that one, 9.5 meters square, just the grass alone. Work out the area of the veg patch. They don't give you many hints here. Um, let's go for it. Now, oh, let's take a look. If I've got the area of the entire garden, is going to be, let's go back to yellow, 3x plus 1 multiplied by 2, because it's, if, if you look at its height and width, so that's the entire garden. If I then take away the area of the vegetable patch, which is 1 times x, um, I, have to, I have to do this really, or x times 1, I will end up with the area of the lawn, which is 9.5. Now look, very ugly, but so true. The great big rectangle, take away the vegetable patch, equals the lawn. Okay, So that fits in. Let's tidy it up a little bit. I have got 6x's plus 2, take away a single x. I hate writing the 1 there, but I want to show that I'm calculating an area 1 times x, so I wouldn't normally do that. I wish this was like a different number, like half a metre or something, but anyway. That's what we've got so far, and that comes to 9.5 metres squares. Tidying it up, 5x plus 2 equals 9.5, subtracting the 2, 5x equals 7.5, dividing by 5, 7.5 over 5, and let's see what x is. Yeah, look, I've, I've, in fact, I see it's one and a half, but let's just check it. 7.5 divided by 5, yeah, 1.5. So x is 1.5 meters. Right, um, work out the area of the vegetable patch. Oh, very easy. So here's the vegetable patch. Well, it's going to be 1 times x, which is going to make it prettier, which would be 1 meter times 1.5 meters, and that gives me 1.5 meter square. Question 6, um, sorry, question 6 in the assess. Let's just turn over and make sure I've got it right. I'm going to be very, very happy if, I, if it is. Yippee, that's right. So that's that, a lovely question. Now, if I turn over, there's probably nothing there at all, because I've done everything. Yeah, like I said. But there's a lovely question which I really like. It's the AQA exam style question on page 95. I don't usually do these, but I want to do this one. I didn't bother sort of copying it out, but I'll do it for you really quickly. I've got a box that's like that. And uh, I'm told this is 4x plus 1. I'm told this is 2 bracket x plus 5. I'm told this is 2x. I'm told this is mystery A. I'm given a 20 on the edge and a big A down here. Oh, sorry, that's a 4. Mistake. So that's a 4 and that's an A. Now, this is what it says. Each row is given, the total of each row is given on the side of the table. So this plus this equals this. So I put a little equals there. It's going to help me a lot, isn't it? It says find the value of X and A. Well, I can't find the value of A because I don't know what x is yet, so I've got to use this to form an equation, solve it, get the x, come back, put the x in there, and get the a. So essentially I've got that. I've got 4x plus 1 plus this, and I've got 2x plus 4 to make a. So I've got two equations to sort out. Let's work up here. So here I go. 4x plus 1, add on 2 bracket x plus 5, will come to 20. Bust it all open a little bit. Um, that's 2x plus 10 equals 20. Simplifying on the left hand side, we've got 6x plus 11. Uh, 1 plus 10 is 11 equals 20. Subtract the 11. 6x equals 20. Take away 9. Uh, 11 is 9. Uh, divide by 6. Uh, 9 over 6 is going to be 1 and a half. In other words, 1.5. Um, there's no units here, but anyway, x is 1.5. Now, substituting into the bottom part, uh, I found x to be that, 
So substituting his work over here, I've got 2x plus 4 is mystery value A. So 2 lots of 1.5 plus 4 comes to mystery value A. 2 times 1 and a half is 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Therefore A itself is 7. And I'm going to stop. Chapter 6, the assess is over. Time for you to study and get a big fat grade. See you later.